Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Leonardo of Pisa, better known by his pen name Fibonacci. He's best known for the sequence that's named after him, the Fibonacci sequence, which begins 1, 1, and then we add together the previous two numbers, so we get 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. Now this sequence, although it's very simple, has some amazing properties, which I'm going to be talking about. So, let's discover the maths of Fibonacci and his sequence. Fibonacci was born in Pisa in about 1170 and died sometime between 1240 and 1250. When he was young, he travelled with his father, who was a merchant, and directed a trading post in Bugia, in what's now Algeria. It was while in North Africa that Fibonacci learned of the Hindu-Arabic numeral system. In 1200, he returned to Pisa and used the mathematical knowledge he'd gained on his travels to write Liber Abaki, the Book of the Abacus, published in 1202, which introduced to Western Europe the Hindu-Arabic numerals and decimal number system that remain in use today. The first chapter of part one begins, These are the nine figures of the Indians, 9876543321. With these nine figures and with this sign, zero, which in Arabic is called Zephirum, any number can be written, as will be demonstrated. Fibonacci also showed he was capable of some amazing feats of calculation. For example, he found the positive solution of the cubic equation x cubed plus 2x squared plus 10x equals 20 using the Babylonian number system with base 60, which was a strange choice in view of his public advocacy of the decibel system. He gave the result as 1, 22, 7, 42, 33, 4, 40, which is equivalent to 1 plus 22 over 60 plus 7 over 60 squared plus 42 over 60 cubed plus 33 over 60 to the power of 4 plus 4 over 60 to the 5 plus 40 over 60 to the 6. How on earth he obtained this? Nobody knows. It was 300 years before anyone else could obtain such accurate results. As well as serious mathematics, Liber Abaki contains many playful passages, and it's for one of these concerning a problem about counting the offspring of a pair of rabbits that Fibonacci became best known, after Edward Lucas called the sequence of numbers discussed by the rabbit problem the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is the sequence that arises in answer to this problem posed in Liber Abaki. A certain man put a pair of rabbits in a place surrounded on all sides by a wall. How many pairs of rabbits can be produced from that pair in a year if it's supposed that every month each pair begins a new pair, which from the second month on becomes productive? The number of pairs of rabbits in the nth month begins 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and 89, where each term is the sum of the two terms preceding it. This sequence can be defined recursively as follows. f1 equals f2 equals 1. fn plus 1 equals fn plus fn minus 1 for n greater than 2, where fn is the nth Fibonacci number. Johann Kepler was the first to point out that the growth rate of the Fibonacci numbers, that is, fn plus 1 over fn, converges to the golden ratio phi, which has the value root 5 plus 1 over 2. In the 19th century, Fibonacci numbers were discovered in many natural forms. For example, many types of flower have a Fibonacci number of petals. Daisies tend to have 34 or 55 petals, while sunflowers have 89, or in some cases, 144. 
the seeds of sunflowers spiral outward both to the left and to the right in a Fibonacci number of spirals. Similarly, the whorls on a pine cone, the numbers of rings on the trunks of palm trees, the patterns of snail shells and the genealogy of the male bee all follow a sequence of Fibonacci numbers. The arrangement of plant leaves or phyllotaxis unfolds to the same pattern because this results in an optimal solution in terms of the spacing of the leaves or the amount of light that can reach them. A familiar spiral form known as the logarithmic spiral emerges when seeds on a plant grow and space themselves according to the Fibonacci sequence. The logarithmic spiral is approximated by the rule start at the origin of the Cartesian coordinate system, move F1 units to the right, move F2 units up, move F3 units to the left, move F4 units down, move F5 units to the right, and so on. By growing in this way on structures such as sunflowers, pine cones and pineapples, seeds are able to pack themselves together most efficiently. Fibonacci numbers have so many interesting mathematical properties that an entire journal, the Fibonacci Quarterly, is devoted to them. The sequence of final digits in Fibonacci numbers repeats in cycles of 60. The last two digits repeat in 300, the last three in 1500, the last four in 15,000, and so on. The product of any four consecutive Fibonacci numbers is the area of a Pythagorean triangle. The shallow or least steep diagonals of Pascal's triangle sum to Fibonacci numbers. An interesting use of the Fibonacci sequence is for converting miles to kilometers. For instance, if you want to know how many kilometers five miles is, take the Fibonacci number five and look at the next one, eight. Five miles is about eight kilometers. This works because it happens that the conversion factor between miles and kilometers is roughly equal to the golden ratio. The first few Fibonacci numbers that are also prime numbers are 3, 5, 13, 89, 233, 1597, 28657 and 514229. It seems likely that there are infinitely many Fibonacci primes, but this has yet to be proven. However, it's relatively easy to show that for n is greater than or equal to 4, un plus 1 is never prime. The Fibonacci sequence is a special case of the Lucas sequence, which we'll look at in another video. The Tribonacci series, as it's called, is made by adding the last three digits 1, 1, 2, 4, 7, 13, 24, 44, 81, and so on. And in the same way, we can define the Quad Bonacci series, the Pent Bonacci series, all the way up to the N Bonacci series. Each ratio of successive terms forms a special constant, analogous to phi. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again very soon to discover more maths.